Joe 200, fight on. All right, spring 2020. That just kind of rolls off the lips, doesn't it? 2020, what a trip. All right, guys, so this is a, a great class. Welcome. I'm glad you're in it. Um, uh, I uh, have a number of co-instructors. Uh, right here, Julia Walsh is the bomb, okay? Super brilliant. Super beautiful, and my wife, okay? And she is your go-to person, and I will show you her email um, access in, in a second, okay? You get it by downloading the syllabus. If you have any problems whatsoever, you contact her, please. I know we all have issues. Communication is key. Don't wait too long, okay? The minute you have a problem, you contact her, and um, and we will resolve it, okay? Promise you this. All righty. So the, the point of this video is to show you what you need to do in terms of navigating this course and um, uh, how to handle the instructional material and how to um, do really well on the assessments to make sure that you get an A in this class. Um, we uh, tend to give out a, a, a bucket load of A's in this class because all you need to really do is do the work, okay? And that's what's the important thing to remember, okay? So the, probably the first thing you need to do is go like this. You go click, click, all right? And you go in and go click, click, okay? And you open your syllabus, and that's exactly what I'm doing right here, okay? Um, there's a list of all my TAs, all right? And um, you go like this. And voila, okay. And so it gives a little description of our uh, uh, what the course is all about, um, course objectives, okay. Um, you need no blackboard. You need to know turn it in, okay. And we give you within the course um, resources to make sure that you do well. No books, awesome, all right. So this is uh, all open education resources, uh, articles, um, uh, links, uh, videos, all that kind of stuff that are just open access. So it's really cool. Um, Julie and I are in there uh, during the week. Um, I teach Monday and Wednesday from 11 to about 1, my GE class, the rock and roll class uh, about the brain called the Journey to the Mind. You got to come join me if you already if you haven't already. And then um, and then uh, and then I have an upper division brain class that is from two to four, all in the gerontology auditorium. You'll find me in Gero 228B during uh, those times uh, when I'm not in the lecture room. Julia also lectures on Wednesdays from 11 to about one, and she's there all day. So come see us, please, if you have any problems whatsoever, okay? All right, and that's what this is all about right here, okay? So we can have small group meetings, big group meetings, we don't really care. All right, so we have a couple of two to three page papers, all right? Um, they're calendar in here, you calendar those in as well. I'll show you later on the descriptions of how those things work. Um, um, we have quizzes associated every week with your readings. I'm going to show you how that works. Uh, we do give the option to drop your lowest grade here, all right? Um, quizzes are due every single week. Um, we have discussions due every single week. I'll show you how, what that's all about, okay? Um, calendar in the midterm exams, okay? Um, you have two hours to get it done, but you have a big chunk of time. Um, for example, um, when we look here at, um, at midterm one, and it was from March 1st to March 6th, choose a time, and then once you get in, you got two hours, okay? All righty, once you, once you go, you gotta go, okay? Um, back to the discussions, we see this thing that says uh, that we want you to um, have one very thoughtful response, okay? One to two paragraphs, and then three additional posts um, where uh, you comment on your classmates' interpretation of what was going on that week. So, all right, so we got that. We got one substantial one, three additional posts, okay? Don't forget one and three. It's a really easy rubric for us to grade, all right? We have a 1.5 total. You got 0.75 for that substantial post, and then an additional 0.25 for one friend, another 0.25 for a second friend, and a 0.25 for a, three, a third friend. So 1.5 maximum, okay? All right, pretty easy to figure out, all right? Just calendar and get it done. All righty. We have, like I said, the midterms, all right? And you have a lot of flexibility there. Interview paper, start thinking about this right now. You know, start writing the paper right now. I know nobody does, but um, basically you use your your um, newfound knowledge about the aging process, about about 
how to be a, a really good resource for your parents and grandparents and yourself, and you apply it to an interview you do with your grandparent, okay? Or some older parent, an uncle, your dad, whatever, somebody that's kind of older, all right? Your mom, doesn't really matter. Here's a breakdown in the grades. So this is a marathon, okay? It's, it's a marathon in that little tiny bits of point allocation for all these different things, but it all adds up to 100%, and you can check all that out right there, okay? Grading policy is, we traditionally use a standard grading policy, and like I said, we give out about, I would say, two-thirds A, all right? Um, it just because people do get it done. All righty. Um, uh, this is just all about the communication, uh, plagiarism. Uh, you have any emergency issues? Look, I know what it's like to, to be a college student. Um, I'm a burning inferno of anxiety, you know, um, You'll, we'll talk about clinical depression in this class, and, and I've had bouts, you know, Julia's had bouts. We know what it's like. Come see us. We are an ultimate resource for you. We'd love to hang out with you. Julia is my psychotherapist. She's amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay. All righty. Um, so we get all, all the way down here, and this, this is the roughed out weekly schedule, okay? So here it is, January 13th, okay? Here is the... Um, a, a reading assignment, and then this is what's due, all right? So we see a week later, by January 20th, you got to get that quiz done, and you got to get your discussion put in. Same here, week two, get that quiz done, and get that uh, discussion done by the following week. So it's one week, one week, like that. All right, so you can kind of rough this out, and then we see highlighted the biggies, okay? The, so you calendar in this little two- to three-page paper, um, you um, you look over here, okay, and the calendar in that midterm somewhere within that week, okay. Um, here's the second two to three page paper, okay, um, and on and on, okay. That's it. All right, so it's pretty straightforward stuff, right? And you guys, I know, are going to do really excellent in in this uh, in this uh, class, okay. All right, so um, okay, so let's go back here and 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 you know, and see the course, okay. We will be emailing you constantly via announcements. Okay, so if you just click right over here, all right, this is the very first announcement that Julie sent out, and this is how we're going to communicate. Okay, I will post this video in the announcement as well as I will post the video in to your weekly assignments. Let's see what the weekly assignments look like. Okay, first of all, you see that it's open access resources, not one penny cost to you. How awesome is that? No book. Okay. And this way we can update the information in this class and update it in a way that makes it very, very current and topical. And I love doing that, you guys. You guys deserve the best, so why not, okay? All right, you see week one, week two, week three, okay? And the due dates, all right? So this was Monday the 13th, okay? That's when it started, when it opened, okay? Um, and it's due by the 20th. And so what you do is you click right here, all right? And my video that you see right here is going to be going right in here along with a second video, okay? I'm going to do the hotel video and the second video where I kind of guide you on how to read this, um, this, this assignment right here, okay? Um, so basically what you do is you download the, the paper, okay? So you can go like that and it up comes and there's a PDF file, all right? So you see all right over here, I clicked on this, I brought up the PDF file. What did Dr. Walsh say to do? Not this Dr. Walsh, the other Dr. Walsh. She said she wanted you to read from forward through trend five, okay? So that's what you do. You read through forward through trend five, okay? Um, what I suggest you do then, because as you scroll down here, you'll see there is a quiz associated with that reading. What I suggest you do, okay, is you go right into the other browser you have open right here. So I opened it up twice. And here, I'm just going to go like this, and I'm going to get myself a quiz. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this thing because I don't need it. Okay. All right. So, all right. So, then I go begin. Okay. And there it is. Okay. Now, um, there are five multiple choice questions for each week's readings. We have a pool of questions that Blackboard draws from. So, no two of you are going to get the same question. All right. I don't care if you guys, as a team, get together and figure this out. Okay, and help each other out and, and, and do these questions, that's okay, you know. Um, okay, so, so my recommendation, okay, is that you're going to have um, the PDF file that you opened, and then you have the quiz open. You familiarize yourself with the ants, the, these questions and what they're asking. So read this really carefully. 
your five set of questions, okay? And then go ahead and start reading, okay? And um, again, if you're just going through here, forward through trend five, okay? Um, that's what I think Julia told you to do. Let's take a look. She said, forward through trend five, okay? So you read, and then as you read this stuff, okay, you take your time to read it. This is what you expect to do some reading in this class, okay? All right? Um, read it, read it, read it, read it, read it, okay? And I'm going to go through this with you later, okay? And then go back and look at this. Go back and look at this. And you'll find the answer, and then boom, you'll be able to answer the question. Okay? All righty. Remember, you get to drop one of these um, down the line. Remember, this is not a huge percentage, okay, each each individual uh, quiz. So don't freak out if you get a three or something like that. Okay? It's not, not a big deal. Okay. In fact, if I look over here, I can tell you straight up, looking at the syllabus, we'll go right back up here. Um, so when we look at the quizzes, um, it's only 15% your, of your grade, and, and you do it over 15 weeks, so, so don't freak out, okay? All right, so, but don't miss them either, you know, all the points add up. Okay, so I'm going to go back over here now to our friend, all right, we'll go over here. Okay, so that's how that works, okay? Then, for this week, you go in here and you do the meet and greet, so you click here, and up it comes, Okay. What was it that, oh, what did Dr. Walsh want me to do? I'm going to go back here. First suggestion, I'd like everyone to get to know each other. Tell us who you are, why you are taking the class, um, but also I want you to tell us how you see yourself, using the knowledge you will gain in this class throughout your life, okay? And then we will see how that changes at the end of the class with your new toolkit of gerontology and knowledge. All right, all right, that's it. So I would go in here like this, okay? All right, I would create a thread. Um, Okay, all right, and there it is. And then I say right here, Dr. John, actually, you know what? Don't call me Dr. John Walsh. All right, here's my, my lightning fast typing skills. Okay. okay, all right, so that's it. And then you go down here and you go like this, all right. And what, what can I tell you about myself? Okay, I grew up in the east side. Yeah, sounds like a Khalid song, doesn't it? But it's true, all right? Right next, right next to East LA College. Yes, sirree. I am one of those OGs. <laughs> yeah, right, okay. But I am. I grew up right there. In, uh, to, I, I grew up in the melting pot. It was awesome. I was the only Gavacho in my entire group. It was cool. All right. Then I went to UC Irvine. Okay. Became a crazed surfer at that point. Okay. And that's carried me through life. I, I, I live for that stuff. Okay. I uh, went to UT Medical School in Houston, Texas. That's where I met the most important person ever. And that was Julia. She was, uh, was an undergraduate at Rice. And we have seven years separating us. She was 20. I was 27. I could type all that in, but I'll just tell you anyways, okay? Um, gerontology is my career. Gerontology is my career. And educating you is the bomb, okay? Something like that, all right? All right, so, um, and... When we get done with it, yeah, we've been married for 32 years, going on 33. It's awesome. I am done. I'm going to hit submit. All right. There it is. Boom. Okay. So if you wanted to now comment on John Walsh, you go like this. Okay. And you hit reply. And that's it. And you do that for three different friends. All right. And you say... Dude, you are a surfer boy, okay? All right, something like that, right? That's for this level. We want you to be more concrete and substantive when it comes to the actual material later on, all right? Got it? Got it. Submit. Bam. All right, so now I've got two in, okay? All right, that's how this works. Now, if we go back to, sorry, this, might go back up to the weekly reading assignment. So every week you go into this guy. Weekly assignment, every week. Go back in, okay? What I'm gonna do 
is I'm going to go down and say, God, I want to, I want to go ahead. I want to learn more about, say, cancer. We're going to have a big section on cancer because it does impact all of our lives in a pretty significant way. All right. So here's all the reading assignments. Okay. Um, here's information that you can uh, draw on. Okay. Um, real important thing about HPV. Okay. Which is very, very applicable to you guys. Okay. Um, uh, and then we scroll on down and here's all the information. We want you to be able to interpret charts. Okay. Um, wait a minute, there's no quiz and there's no discussion. That's because it will get rolled out week five. And this will be where I put the video right here, okay? So if we go back, the only one that has a discussion and quiz open at this point in time is week one, okay? Which is right there, all right? So that's pretty straightforward, okay? All right, um, calendar these events, okay? CT1 is due, CT2 is due, and the paper, all right? You see them right there, Feb, February 10th, March 30th, and um, May 13th, okay? You click on here, okay? It gives you the instructions, okay? This right here is a video I put together actually last semester that is, I'm going to keep it as is, all right? It tells you how to go in there and do your first two to three page paper. We want you to go in and gather data and interpret it, okay? So this tells you how to do it. If you're a reader, this tells you how to do it and click by click with me being um, showing you how I would do it, okay? All righty. Then you go on down here and there's our grading group that we use as a team, okay? All right, CT2 comes next. Here, you, This is where you upload it right here, all right? So you, you upload critical thing assignment one right there. CT2 will be right here. Um, I am going to show you that it's in development. We're real close there, the new one. And, and then the interview paper with the instructions right there, okay? With the rubric and all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, and this is where you upload it right here, right? So you just upload it right there, okay? When you upload it, I want you to check your um, um, Turnitin score. That's an indication of how much overlap you have with original material, even the original material of the paper you submitted elsewhere, okay? You want to keep that below 20%. So you see that score, you go back, you look at it, it shows your highlights where you have a little bit too much copying, okay? Um, also called plagiarism, and then uh, uh, you go back and just change it. You put it in your own words, okay? That's what we want you to do, all right? So use Turnitin as a tool to learn how to better write yourself, okay? It's really, really important, okay? All righty, um, the midterms, if you click on it right here, okay? Um, it would launch. It, we're not gonna, we don't have it open. This is going to UCC. It's open March 1st through March 6th. You have a whole week to calendar two hours, and then you go in and boom, you do it. Okay. All right. So once you're in, you're in. You don't get to have, you don't have multiple attempts. So make sure you, you dial in on that one. Okay. And that happens for both midterm one and midterm two. Okay. All righty. And that's midterm one. Here's midterm two. All right. All right. Here's the um, right here. Uh, all of my how-tos, okay? And so I'm going to put my video right here, how to get an A, and I'm going to email it to you as well, okay? Um, this is how to use Turnitin when you do do Turnitin, okay? Um, it explains everything, but I'm telling you right now, you need to get uh, a Turnitin receipt, okay? And this shows you how you get email confirmation. And then lastly, at the very end, okay, you will get... Um, a, a Turnitin receipt with an actual submission ID. That's what we accept if there is some problem. We don't accept a Word document that shows you the, uh, a date mark that says the last time you edited the information in Word. That's not acceptable because you know what? People Photoshop that stuff all the time, all right? But we're not going that way, all right? So you got to get your turn. And I would make a folder in your computer where you put your Turnitin receipts for this course, for every course you take at USC. It is really um, a binding proof that you got it done. And you know, I take that from my attorney wife. So she's, she's uh, very much on board, okay? We, um, in here, we, sh we discuss how to post on discussion boards, just like I showed you, okay? Um, how to use Turnitin, um, um, what to do if you're adding late, Jira 200, and how to go through Blackboard. These are all these how-to features. Pretty straightforward stuff. All right. 
We have a survey that you can take at any point in time. We always want to know how we're doing, which is awesome. That's up to you. Okay. And uh, yeah, so that's about it. Um, what can I give? I give a little more background on on us. Okay. Uh, Julia and I. Okay. So let's see here. This is a. All right. All right. So um, right there. So that is us as a couple right before we got married in New Orleans. Yes, New Orleans. Who that? Who that says they're going to beat them Saints? Okay. And you can see right here, I got my Saints t shirt on. Okay. Because that's what we're all about. I may have grown up in East LA, but she grew up in New Orleans. Dang, if uh, Drew Brees didn't get through this time. It's, you know, it's a kind of a gerontology thing, too, man. When you're looking at Drew Brees, the, the most celebrated quarterback in the NFL in terms of completions and touchdown passes, man, who, who doesn't back that? I was really hoping the Saints would go all the way. Everybody's a Saints fan anyways, you know, which is kind of awesome. Um, so anyways, yeah, that's us right there. And let's see here. And that is a photo of us. Um, uh, our honeymoon, look at that. <laughs> we are such a beautiful young couple, man. She is so beautiful and um, still is, okay? 28 years later, and so like I said, we've been married 32 years. And uh, just just um, in terms of gerontology, in terms of life, guys, you know, if you're lucky enough to find the right person, so we'll teach you a little bit about relationships in this class as well. If you find the right person, there's, there's no better thing in life, you know? Uh, we're best friends. We hang out together all the time. I call her all the way in. I go to work. I call her when I'm coming home. Think about her all the time. And, um, you know, you get to relive life together. You know, we have such nostalgia of, you know, those days in New Orleans, you know, um, the time we went to um, to France and, uh, uh, you know, the trip to Fiji surfing and all the times we went surfing in Kauai. You know, it's awesome to be able to, to relive life um, every step of the way and, and have that nostalgia. So, yeah, it's cool. I'm blessed, and hopefully you guys will be someday. You know, um, certainly come talk to us about it someday if you want to. All righty. So I'm, I'm going to sign off right here, okay? I'll be sending out another video here later on today about how to do the reading and do the quizzes and, and just what you know, what the grasp from the reading material. All right, guys? Okay. Uh, peace. Fight on. Okay? And we'll see you next time.